president. Let's begin. Okay, so firstly, before I continue with in this uh, continuance, let's revise a little bit. Mostly, you want to find mean and variance, which is a very common question. Right, remember for random variables, you have two main parts. What are those? Discrete and continuous. Okay, we have discussed discrete last time. How do you find the mean? What's the pattern? Time, 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 time is an A plus, yeah. So if I give you something like this, if I give you the X and the probability, how do you find the mean? Times, 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 times. And you add them up. Okay? Now, what about if I ask you for the variance for me? Variance for, for the uh, discrete. How do you find the EX squared? Instead of X, now X squared, that's yes, right. X squared, the probability. And you repeat the same process again. Times, 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 and then, then you plus them up. Minus what? Minus the mean that you got over here. Then you square the mean. Okay? So that's for this script. Now let's have a look for continuous. Well, you need to understand a few things about continuous. Firstly, continuous does not has, it has no table. So it just function. So you won't have this table for you to solve them up. Okay, so the, the way you do is you, you integrate the function as usual and then you multiply by x. Multiply x to the function. And then you integrate it up as usual. Remember, when you come to discrete, you plus, when you come to continuous, it's always integrate. So, so, what about for ex squared? For continuous? In this case, we multiply by. This one I multiply by, by x, this one I multiply by x squared. So it goes the same thing. You x squared. Understand? Yes, theory. Then what about this part? Just the same thing. We take this mean and we square the mean. Okay, so that's the theoretically wise with the formula in the table. So let's try some examples. Okay, okay let's say for this case, this time we are given uh, multiple functions. Continuous, and let's say the one over five is a function one, and this one over here is the let's call it function two. First function, second function, function one, function two. Now I want to calculate the e x, the mean. How? Remember, this is a continuous, so we cannot use this table method. Okay, so we can only use this one. Okay. So for, for mean, we need to multiply x to the function. But over here, I have two functions. Which function should I multiply x to? First and second. Function 1 or function 2? Uh, that's a trick question. The answer is you need to multiply to both functions. So let's say they are function 1. I mean, it's, it's like how you do when it comes to multiple function from continuous. If you want to find equals to 1, you need to integrate and plus both. 
So for this case, function 1 and function 2, we multiply x to them. Okay? I'll do the first one for you. So this one here, we integrate from negative 1 until 0 and 0 until 1. So you want to get yourself the grade of 1 over 5 divided by x. The x integrate from 0 until negative 1. Where 1 over 5 is constant, I can take it out. Integrate x, x squared. So x squared over, over 2 which is also multiplied here, 10. Now, moving from 0 to negative 1. Substitute the number in. I got a lot of students making this mistake. They directly negative 1, put it here. So they get themselves 1 over. They just got this. But it might be true if it's negative 1, 0, but this one is 0 to negative 1. So the arrangement is different. So don't be too overconfident. Substitute 0 first. And then there's a minus your negative 1 here. Negative 1 squared is going to give me 1. So for, for, the, for the last part, I'm going to get myself negative 1 over 10. We are not calculating the area, we're calculating the delta over here, so you don't need to model this it out. Okay? So this is what you will get. Okay, I'm doing this for the left side. Okay, do you mind doing for the right side and tell me what you get? Give me a total. What you get? and plus the value. So what do you get for the mean? Try it out by yourself. Okay, possibly. Okay. So the first one you should get yourself negative 1 over 10. The second one you get 1 over 2, which gives you the final answer of 2 over 5. Alright, the next part I want you, I would like you to try is find me the x squared. How am I going to find the x squared? How this going to look like? Basically, it's the same as how you find the dx, the same method here, but instead of I multiply by x, I multiply by x squared. Okay, find me the x squared, what do you get? And then, by yourself, can you find me the variance x? Alright, try it on your own. Good luck. Okay, alright. Over here. Did you record it? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> okay, alright. The first one you should get yourself 13 over 30. The second part, how do you, how do you solve it? You do the 13 over 30 minus this one 2 over 5 squared which give you the answer what? 41 over 250 okay, you should get that you managed to get this one, congratulations Okay, uh, there's a few things I would like to ask, okay? I want you to try by yourself before I forget. Just the same questions. Can you find me the 3 step minus 7x? And the other one is this one. I, I make a few adjustments with the quirks. 3 minus 5x. Try it by yourself. You should get yourself 1 over 5 and 41 over 6. Okay, try, try this by yourself. Right, let's, so let's move on a bit. Let's say if you're given a single function question. Okay, normally for this is single function. How do you going to find k? How are you going to find k which is constant? Integrate. Equals to one, very good. 
for single function. Before, for multiple functions here, the e x, either function 1 times x plus function 2 times x. So what about for single function? <laughs> so so for, for multiple functions like this, instead I do function 1 plus function 2, I just simply take out the second function and take out the, this process as well. Understand? So just do function one. You don't have to do multiple function. Try it by yourself. I just show you the x. So basically, Multiply with x. Try it by yourself first. And I leave this to you for a while. Try it by yourself first. And I'll explain things later. Okay? Pause. Down. So, for these two here, how are you going to get the answers for the quickest way? For you to use this formula, okay? EAx plus B. You get yourself plus minus a e x plus minus b. So in this sense, you should get yourself uh, negative seven e x plus three. If you got confused, just rewrite it as e negative 7x plus 3 and then follow the formula ex you take this ex 2 over 5 what's the answer class? I forgot Let's have a look a bit. 